Hey guys, it's Kara here. I'm back with another video. This time I'll be spray painting my PC case blue without taking the whole thing apart. And I'm using masking tape. I invested into the best quality masking tape that I could find so that way I can cover all the crevices as well with a bunch of cardboard. And I'm taking out this panel out because it was one of the easiest things to kind of spray paint and it was pretty simple to take out. There was only four screws. Other than that, I didn't take anything major out and like my motherboard, GPU, hard drives, I didn't touch any of those. And I use a bunch of cardboard, plastics, anything I could find. And for the design, I actually decided to just do these the top corners a different color. That color looks almost white. And I think it turned out good because the initial job that I did, I, I hand painted that a couple years ago. It did not look good. So I'm spending a lot of time covering up the back panel, especially since that's when there's a, that's where there's a lot of open ports. And I'm using plastic bags just to make sure because the cardboard that I have didn't fit perfectly. And again, on this side too, this project took several days. So I would recommend taking your time with it, especially if you're not going to take out all of your PC internals out just to spray paint the whole case without worrying about it again you have to be extremely precautious with this i would treat this as if you're painting a room of your house and use the same type of uh thinking method that's what i did just cover anything that you're not gonna paint and that's been my strategy for this so here's a more quick turnaround on how i covered this whole thing just for this specific process and now we're outside spray painting it and do several coats and make sure they're not too heavy or else it's gonna be too thick uh, i messed up on the step so this didn't come out exactly the way i want to but after i spray paint the whole pc case it does come together so slowly take off the tape the masking tape and everything else because sometimes i did it really quick and it did lift up some paint so just be a little bit more careful on it should turn out all right. Spray painting this part gave me the confidence I needed to finish this whole project because I was really scared on how this was all gonna come together. And now I'm putting on back the side panel and just to kind of see how it looks. And I got really excited. So start small and it can really build your confidence through this. And for the other side, I did take out the other side panel out just so that way i could put cardboard underneath the exposed part because the way my case is designed it has holes on the top panel and the side panel so i had to really cover those since uh i want to spray paint those portions and i didn't want any paint whatsoever getting on my parts i did have to take out one of my flanges because i needed to be able to put the piece of paper there on top of the cardboard just to catch it so i did have to take out that piece and again i was being extremely careful with this step i really don't want anything to get on my pc and i added multiple layers of printer paper since the cardboard i had just didn't fully fit and this was also the step where i will be painting the outside of the whole pc case which was very daunting so i had to make sure to cover everything not everything but like some of the parts that i did so i i had to cover up the corner part i spray painted of the earlier part of the video and the side panel of course so just to be able to get the top and front panel spray painted and it's those same tedious steps and i'm showing some of you guys in real time just because i know how important it was for me i was watching so many different tiktoks so many other people that tried this method and they were going through it so fast that i didn't know what was the best way to fully hide things because sometimes especially when you don't plan it out you don't know oh should i be covering this or should i not so that's why i'm taking my time with this video to really show you guys how i did the whole thing especially for myself as well when i do want to a mod or another pc i do plan on especially when when i move getting another pc built i might update this one but since this one this case is a micro atx not micro mini atx i can only i only have so much space to expand so i did this whole thing as well in my living room since i didn't want my room to have this 
smell and especially as the paint dries you guys shouldn't do what i did if you have space outside i would no no i couldn't <laughs> um so that's why i did it in a much more open room i turn on all of the fans and take my time to get it right especially oh man i messed up a lot on this one but the end product ended up being super nice and with this one i did not have to do as many coats it worked out pretty nicely and here's some more views of that um just gonna let you guys hear more of that satisfying asmr spray painting sound For that satisfying reveal oh man yeah i did get some of the paint off because you guys see because i was impatient i didn't wait until this was completely dry since i did more than a couple coat when i first did that first layer of painting but oh man after that everything else came out really nice man it was oh man so satisfying i was i was so happy that i did this so the next step after this that I did was I put everything back, of course, and I upgraded the fans. I got some RGB fans on Amazon that I'll leave link down below. Uh, I did get some help installing those since I had no idea what to do and uh, I kept screwing the the screws in the wrong, wrong place since the way my PC case is set up. So I'm putting everything back and now you guys see this paper now you guys will see uh where all the paint went imagine if i didn't do that the paint would have got everywhere so i'm so happy that i thought about doing that and i took my time to watch a lot of other videos first just so that way i can see how i can truly tackle this i'm not sure how your pc case looks like so i can't exactly tell you um the best way to secure it so that's something you're gonna have to take some time and look at and make sure you're covering all bases so you don't make any mistakes and i'm putting back on the regular fan and now onto the rgb fans and rgb strip i did get some help with this and I did have to recubble manage just to get all the cables into my case and it connected to this hub thing. It came with three RGB fans and two RGB strip that I put on the top and side of my PC. And again, thanks to my friend for helping me install this because at first I tried doing it myself and it, and it wasn't working for some reason. So here's how it turned out. It looked fantastic. It really brought out the color, the new, the new teal color of my PC. And here's some of the mistakes that I did with the paint where it lifted off. It wasn't perfect, but from far away, you can't really see it. So let me know what you guys think and definitely more setup upgrade videos like this until my final setup tour. This was in my old setup, but yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Bye!